Hey guys, happy, what day is it today? Thursday. Thursday. How are we all? John, tier one from Casa de la Fachi. We're with Sam again today. Hi. Hey, how is Sam? Hi. Hope you're all well and goodness. God awful day. It's horrible being, uh, we've been blessed those last sort of few weeks, haven't we? So, the plan for today is resistance training. So we're gonna hit the booty. Um, before we head off, a couple of reminders here. Remember, we've got our charity team training day on Saturday at 1 p.m. for Cynthia Spencer. So please come on board for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully, the weather will be kind and we can get outside and do it. Get some back. Um, secondly, let's hope Isabel doesn't wake up today as well. So let's hopefully, it'll be a, swing, uh, a straight through your session. And thirdly, kit. The kit we need for today. No sound again, right? The mic is gone. That bloody mic, eh? Right, so I'm doing a reset there. But while I do that, I need to tell you, if you missed out what I was saying to you, I was reminding you guys, remember, on Saturday, this Saturday at 1 p.m., we've got our charity team training event, okay? That is for Cynthia Spencer, so hopefully you can all come in, have it be a lot of fun. So 1 p.m. Saturday, hope you'll be able to get outside and, uh, have, have, and, and do that, okay? So Sam's now completely lazy bear. We're now onto the band leg lowers. That's why we need a band for a belt buckle. We'll shoot for five on the side. So remember this, now we're now working those hip mobility. So with this, that band needs around the ball of your foot, okay? There, there. There, the ball with your foot. Those toes will be pulled up throughout. That back needs to be flat. You exhale as you lower, okay? You exhale as you lower. You feel a nice stretch in your hamstrings and in your calves. I don't want to use it too loud just in case she wakes the beat. So if I be sorry, I don't care, again, how straight that leg is. I care about the leg being straight, okay? Nice straight leg. Not a bent leg. Yeah. Big. So I hope you guys can hear me now, right? So five each side, which is five each side, one's egg rocking. So knees in the chest, those toes are pulled up, chin is in the chest as well. You're gonna roll back onto your shoulder blades and then come back up again, okay? We'll shoot the six reps. If you feel nice and abs as you come up, Feel really nice in your lower back as well. Be a nice bit of flexion for it, okay? All good. So we're doing six of those. We're doing a cat camel. So we're to all fours. Understand? Okay, all fours. So we're here, we need knees below hips. I probably did this. Knees below hips. Wrists below shoulders. And you exhale and bring your belly button away from the floor, okay? And then have nice sort of rounding. This is quite interesting, right? This. Then exhale and chest up, but not too hard. Don't go on that lower back, okay? Lower back doesn't want that. Needs nice and free. You need to get the lower back to move, but not to that extension position, okay? So sit five reps of these. Once we've done five reps, we're then onto a Spider Man stretch. Is that five reps? 
can't count it. Yes, I can't count right. I can't count right. I can't count them towards the camera at the same point. You know this. How many times have we had the same, same conversation each time? So, spine on stretch. So I'm starting in that push up position. So, three points of contact. Boom. Head, shoulders all in line. She brings her left hand to her left foot and her right hand to her right foot. Keeping that foot flat throughout. She draws her knee over her toes, but still keeping that heel down, okay? So, we're working that ankle mobility. So, we're getting a big stretch through the hips, through the hips, and a big stretch through the upper back as well, yeah? Get it nice and mobile. Nice and mobile. Bobby side, guys. Bobby side. With that down arm, someone wants to be reaching through the floor, okay? Reaching through the floor. Are you counting this time, Ali? Yeah. How many go? Five. Five in total? Five. Five. Right, perfect. So that's ten. Good. Okay, here we go. Natural split squat. And that's going to go. So natural split squat. Feet are out wide. The toe, that up. I alternate. Do his toe. Feet out. Feet out wide. Toes out a little bit. And you're going to sit back and reach long, like Sam's doing right now, eventually. You're ensuring when you do it as well that your knees are going over your toes, guys. Knees are going over your toes. You don't want that knees. That's because men can't multitask. Cheers, Jeanette. Perfect. That is true. <laughs> so knees go over toes, you're sitting back. When you sit back to your right side, you should be in your right booty. When you sit back to your left side, guess what? Left booty. Both your side, 10 in total, good? Yeah, I Cool, she thinks so. Okay, if you think so, I think so. Right, Frankenstein walk. So Frankenstein, we're going to work what distance we've got here. If you can do it stationary, we're going to shoot for three reps each side. With Frankenstein, Frankenstein work, Walk, look, tongue twister, shouldn't be. You want to leg that leg nice and straight out, toe pulled up, and you don't when you want to keep that body upright. So it's here, kick down. So try and keep your knee as straight as possible, get as high as you can, and kick down, okay? You're reaching, opposite hand, to opposite knee, like that. Yeah, yeah, go. Yes. Don't reach forward, keep tall. Snap, and snappy, snappy, come snappy. Good. So you have three, three side guys here, three side. Go back. And you can do a little skip as well. No, I'm only joking, don't do that. So get his toe up, real snap down, should be a nice bit of hamstring work here again. Now, we're going to have a bit of fun, for at Sam's expense. So I'm going to coach Sam up without actually showing what to do. So we're going to do, <laughs> we're going to do a reactive crossover step or a lateral one step. So, Sam's gonna go to a little bit off, off left, a bit off left. So, here we go guys, I'm gonna try and coach this up real time with Sam here, see if she can do it or not. So, we're gonna do a side step. Sam's gonna, in this case, do a side step to her right. So her feet need to be outside her shoulders. She needs to lower her centre mass by bending the knees and bring her hips down. So Sam's gonna take a step to her right that step to the right, you want your hips to cross over, but your shoulders face forward. Yeah? So you're going to push off your left leg, okay. your left, left leg is going to come across your body, and you're going to sway yourself back up again, okay? So you're taking one step to the right. So you're going to keep your shoulders facing towards the camera, but your hips are going to cross over to propel you that way, but then you're going to sway yourself back up again. See what I mean? Let's see what you're doing now. Then we'll find out a bit. Oh, we'll, let's go. Okay, no. <laughs> I'll do it. It didn't work. Right, okay, here we go. So, a bit of length. Good thing wearing shorts for it today. Yeah, a bit of tea, whatever. So, we're doing a cross up set, guys. So, we're going to do feet outside, hips, feet flat, knees forward. And what we're going to do, I'm going to take a run step to this section here. So, I'm going to do a slow motion. I push off this leg here. My leg comes across. Here, and my shoulders still facing towards you, and then square myself up again. Is that not what I did? No. What did I do? You did this. Do the hips, hips move. So remember, the hips want to turn to the direction you want to turn them in, but your shoulders don't. So watch my hips, yeah? There. Yeah? I'm cognizant of that I've got socks on, so I'll go ass over. Hip. Yeah, so ready, Sam? Ready? Go. 
Good, come back. What, the same, do the same the other time? No, just, yeah, just go, just come back. Ready? So I'm going to do it this time, so ready? Here we go, go, go. Good. Black hand is it, Sam. Do one more, okay? Remember, hips outside, shoulders, hips outside shoulders, bend his knees. Now, draw to your right. Go. Space up, good, that's better. Now pause there, and then come back, all right? So feet outside, shoulders. She's now it's gonna, that Sam's now gonna move to her left. So what she's gonna do now, her right leg's gonna push her across. The hips turn to the right, but her shoulders still face towards the camera. Ready, go. Good, come, come back, recycle it. Go, go, come on, big push. Good, right, okay. Right, now Sam's gonna be in the middle. And she's gonna guess which way I'm gonna go, all right? So I go left, I'm gonna go left. I go right, I'm gonna go right. Yeah, ready, go. Good, come back. Ready? Go. Good. Two more. Ready? Go. Good. One more. Go. Nice. Nice. So, have a breather. Yeah, we're not we're space with it here. It didn't work how I envisaged it, but you know what? This is live, so it happens, okay? So, right, what we're gonna do now? We're going to head into the first part of the warm up. Remember the, sorry, not the warm up, the workout. So, the first part of the workout, workout is the power. And we're going for fake throws again today. We're going for three fake throws each side. So, Sam, throw up, give me a fake throw now. Ready? Good. So, she really don't have a ball here, right? But she's imagining she's got a ball. So, she's doing like, like an overhead football throw. So, we're going to power into the ground, re throw those arms. You're going to alternate three each side. Once you've done that, we're going to into our band leg lowers. You don't need to that, do you? No. No. So we're going to do three each side band leg lowers, okay? So you ready for this? Go back and pull a bit more. Ready? So three each side, guys. Ready? Go. Ooh. 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 Hey, everyone. Ooh. Oh, my God. I've got a sense of passing there, I think. That three each side, that three each side, yeah. six in total? Yeah. That's six in total? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Cool, okay, fine. Now we're into three each side band leg lowers, okay? So, same as same as in the warm ups, we're only shooting for three each side, so we're just chasing that hip mobility, three. getting nice, three each side, that's it. Okay, his toes pulled up, keeping that back nice and flat. So, three each side, we're getting good stretch in those calves. Those calves are massive again today. And we're getting some ab recruitment as well, guys. Three side, now we're back into the overhead throw again. Three side, ready? Gonna do it. Duck in, dive in here. I mean, I span before now, I reckon. <laughs> three, remember, three each side. Get his toes pulled up for out. Exhale as you do it. I don't care how straight leg is. I care about keeping the knee straight, okay? So we're all sitting down now more than ever. We're going to keep his hips nice and healthy. This is a great drill for doing that. Great hip mobility drill. So we've got one more set, okay? Three over throws each side. Ready, let's go. Pop! Pop! Oh yeah. Please do the better wake up, please do the better don't wake up, please do the better don't wake up, please do the better don't wake up. That's it. Last set, last mobility drill. So three each side. Remember that band needs to go around the ball of your foot. Put his toes up. Exhale as you lower. Ensuring also when that leg comes down, that leg that leg that's lowering does not over that to the side, so it comes down here, not there. Yeah? Smell my head up. My head's looking big. What about you? Babe? Definitely better than that. It's over soon, isn't it? Hmm? Over soon, isn't it? It's got carpet, so I thought. Okay. Right, well, great, guys. A bit of water. That completes the power section of the workout. So. The first set circuit here is, so we're going to check, we're hip, remember we're hips and upper body grinding today. Single leg hip thrust. So in this case we need to sofa. We're then going to a split stance row. That's where we need 
our weight increment. And then we need to wall press abs. That's when you need a wall. So, we've got a couple of regressions here as well. Sam's going to demonstrate a single leg hip thrust first on the couch, okay? So, hip, single leg hip thrust is have your shoulders on, shoulders on the couch, arms out straight, draw those elbows into the couch a little bit, and bring those legs at 90 degrees, and feel the whole foot, both feet. Now bring one knee up, one leg up the floor, and now you're gonna lower your hip to the floor and push up through that down leg, ensuring your ankle, knee, and butt are really aligned. So you really bring the butt with this, okay? That's great. If you, you haven't got the strength for that, you know that's good, that's fine, don't worry about it. What we're gonna do is a two point hip press instead. So what that means is this time, right? You're gonna go start to bottom. You're gonna push it with two feet. So push it with two feet, and then then let, 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 lift one leg off, and then come down with one. And then recycle it. So push it with two feet, and then come down with one, okay? So a two, one leg hip thrust, okay? So that's our first exercise. Our second exercise is a split stance row. That's what we need that weight for, okay? So we're into that split stance position. So don't go to, to go set to your sit throw that way. Okay? No, that's not away from the camera. Oh. That's it? Good. With this one here, don't go too wide. So bring your feet a bit closer in. That's it there. Feel your whole foot down the right side. So your whole foot down the right side is going to roll with your right, your, sorry, you're going to roll your opposite arm. So left foot's down, you're going to roll with your right arm, okay? And you want to get a shoulder to move as you do it, okay? So your upper body's rotating, but your hips remain square. And then if we do both sides, okay, it's great. And then finally, a wall press out. So the wall press out. Either against the wall, obviously. Then you can see fine. Down the floor. Wall press out. So it's ab exercise. Down the floor. Oh, down the floor. Sam's going to go into the push into the wall. Oh. Let me show you. Oh. There we go. Sam's going to push into the wall. Should we go a little bit closer so those arms are a little bit more bent? Okay. You're going to bring those knees up the floor and those toes up. You're going to push back to that floor, you're going to exhale, so that back softens. Then you're going to reach long through one leg. If that is too challenging for you, or you don't have a wall, just do a reaching dead bird instead. So that now is arms at height, to the ceiling, and do that dead bird variation instead. So toes still pulled up, and that back's nice and flat as you do it, okay? Back's nice and flat as you do it. Right, are we all good? Cool, okay, let's recap. So. Recapping here, guys. We're going to do a single leg hip thrust. We're doing 10 each side. We're into split stance alternating row, 10 each side. We're into 10 each side, more press out. So we're going to go around one circuit, have a little breather. We're going to repeat it three times. Capiche? Capiche. Capiche. Let's do it. Let's go. So hip thrust first. How many? We're doing 10. Let's told you. 10. 10 each side. Let's go. So Sam's legs are nine. Legs at 90 degrees, she's pushing through her whole foot, she's bringing the hip up in line. I know you can't see this, it's not the best angle at Sofa, but what, what we got. And, if, and her hips come in line with her knee and her shoulder, okay? She's feeling butt. If you're giving that a go and you're getting killed by it, do that two, one regressions instead of, okay? So you push over two legs, you go down with one. So push hard. Try and keep that rib cage down as well. So you don't want to be using your lower back to push yourself up. You want to use that booty. So keep his abs on, that rib cage down, all the way throughout, okay? When you do it as well, have your chin follow your, your chest as you do it. So you're not up here and doing it like that, or down here and crushing your neck, okay? So 10 each side. Right, now into split stance row. Right. Then the split stance row, staggered stance, be your whole foot, and reach and row, reach and row. We want to drive that rotation up top so shoulder blades, they want to move. The shoulder is that's where you want to move like that as you do it. We have said it before, we're not moving as much as we used to, so our back's get cranky because we use it too much. We need to get our hips moving, not necessarily in this case, but in this case we need to get our upper body to move and rotate, okay? Get full range of motion. 10 each side for that whole foot. So you want to feel quite stable. You want to ensure that hips are headlights and they're facing towards the floor, okay? They're not here, not here. They're down. So I'm doing a great job there. 10 each side, guys, 10 each side. Once you've done that, then on to walk the shadows at 10. 
I know you ain't counting. It's ten out, surely. Right, cool, cool. What, wall push ups? Remember two options here. You've got wall push up that Wilkes Hammer's going to do, or you can do a reaching dead foot. So, twist, flip knees up, those toes are up. You exhale, you're reaching long through the leg, picking up back flat throughout. If you feel your back lifting, that's no big deal, be sure to make that movement with a leg. So you could aim up higher towards the sky, higher up towards the hands, you could do this way instead. That's it. The longer you stretch your leg out, the more challenge it is on the ab muscles, okay? The most important thing here is you'll keep that back flat. If that back is lifting, you'll see in daylight, yeah? Between you, or you're feeling daylight between your lower back and the floor, you're exceeding the strength of your abs. So shorten up a little bit, okay? Shorten up a little bit. Warming out in the garden. Because it's raining cats and dogs out there, literally. Cool. That's set one. We've got two more to go. Let's have a bit of water. <clears throat> right, so back to it again. Single leg hip thrusts. Ten each side. Or the alternative the two one leg hip thrusts. Okay, ready to Some head and shoulders against the, against the sofa. She starts with body in line. So knee, hip, shoulder in line, and push it up, holds there for a second, then comes back down again. Remember, squeeze your bust at the top. Squeeze your butt at the top, gives abs on, okay? Abs is more important than squeezing your butt. You can't squeeze your abs at the top. You can't squeeze your abs at the top. You need to decrease that range of movement a little bit, okay? So that means you're probably using your lower back to get up there. How are we doing, Sam? Ten, cool. Flipping. Flipping. Just make sure you're pushing firmly down into that sofa and your foot is pushing firmly into that floor. If you're not, then you could start moving across, okay? Or that sofa might start slipping away from you. Ten each side, guys. On, that, on a non working leg, really work well. I'm trying to get a knee up, okay? Don't let your knee straighten out too much because what happens then you can start also using your lower back to save your hips for the movement. 10, 10, 10. Yeah, we'll do 11. 11? That should be showing off. <laughs> Grab your weight, split stance row. Remember how you need to be that split stance position, feel the hole for that front side. Hips like headlights, they're facing forward. You're getting a rotation up top. Lift that back foot, stand the back foot on the floor a little bit soon. Lift that back foot off the floor a little bit onto her toes. You want to feel quite unstable, okay? You don't want to feel solid with this. It needs to be sort of almost like a balancing act as well to a certain extent, okay? When you're doing it. Reaching up. Sounds also doing a great job there. Let me show you. Keeping this, ah, this alignment. This is really challenging. Nice and straight. All the way around, not curved, okay? Ten inch side, guys. Is that ten? Is that twelve? Who knows? Nine. Nine. Okay, one fist abs. Ten inch side. Is it a window? Is it a window then? Okay. It's quite a bit windy for here. It's getting hot. Toes pulled up, that back flat for out. Reaching through, up, reaching through the wall. If if you want to increase your challenge there, tie your breath into it. Re, move your arms up further away from the wall, so the arms down straight, and exhale full at that long point there. That really is challenging on the arms. Turn it side, guys. Turn it side. That's 10, that's good in 10. That's really hard. That's two sets. We've got one more to go. Have some water. I'm gonna grab some water as well, actually. Hard work, isn't it? It is, it is hard work, always, always working out. Right, ready? 
Last set, best set. So single leg hip press. Good, arms up, bet on that sofa, whatever, whatever you're using. Push those shoulders firmly into the sofa. You want to keep both legs at 90 degrees. Lift one leg off, get the non-working leg knee into your chest. And then push firmly through the ground on that working leg, bringing your knee, hip, and shoulder all in line. Ensure in your chin, remember it's moving with your body, and it's not going down like a chicken. That felt on fire. Butt's on fire. And it's not from the curry up last night either. We did have a curry last night, to be fair. Okay? Okay, yeah? Get your abs working away for abs. You don't need to do those abs. Push hard. Squeeze that foot at the top, squeeze that booty. Hold it for a second. Is that ass on fire? Fire? Is it fire? She's concentrating, she's not talking to me. So we'll just do penny side on that. Are you done, Ted? Yeah. That's it, great. Last one, split stance row. Grab the weight implement. Yeah, split stance for that whole foot and load that back leg. Get chest over. Get that back nice and straight. Reach and row, baby. Reach and row. Head each side. Get your shoulders to move. Get your upper body to move. <laughs> so yeah, now that apparently they are definitely all shorts. <laughs> they are getting short, aren't they? <laughs> Oh, it's working out, it's making you hot though. You've got to, you've got to wear the white right sort of um, clothing for the situation, right? So 10 inch side. Keep reaching and rowing, keep reaching and rowing. Keep driving those shoulder blades. When you're rowing as well, keep those arms at 45 degrees to the body as well. Don't run too far in. Don't run up here either. Here, down here, down here, down here. Yeah. 45 degrees. We can have 10 inch side, we're not too sure. I'm doing what? Yeah. Talking what? <laughs> also, I'm talking to it shit. Right, get back flat. Toes are pulled up. Push from into that wall. Exhale as you do it. What you want here is toes up, pushing firmly, back flat. I'm getting tired now, so concentrate, okay? Get concentrate. If you feel like this day up between you lower back on the floor, just shorten it up. Just shorten out the motions a little bit. Come down. Halfway. Come down. Halfway. Good. Push it, keep firmly pushing that wall. The abs should be on fire right now. Are they on fire? They're on fire, baby. They're on fire. Please don't make it, Isabella. Please don't make it, Isabella. Please don't make it, Isabella. Go away, Jim. We gave, we gave her a sedative before we going to bed, see? <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> we, drug, we drug our baby. <laughs> That's not true. Right, I'm a bit of water for you. It's thirsty work with this, isn't it? Right, here we go, guys. We've got one more circuit to do. That circuit is a glute bridge walkout. Floor back wings. Uh, mountain climb up ISO to the, to the back. So Sam's going to do the demonstration, okay? Yeah, that's right there. Okay. So, hamstring walkout. You're going to go into a glute bridge for this. So you're going to coach your exercise up before you get going, okay? Just to make sure you're okay with it. So in a, in, in a glute bridge position, okay? So legs are bent, feet are flat, okay? Sam's not going to do that. Instead, she's going to listen to what I'm going to say and tell her to do. Sam's going to slowly roll her hips off the floor, okay? about there. So you've still got some abs, you get a nice bit of flexion through your lower back, okay? So the toes can be pulled up, and you're gonna walk those legs out as far as you can do can do while maintaining that tuck and maintaining those abs, then you come back in again. Okay? So you're gonna walk those hamstrings. Yeah? Yeah. Good with that? If you can't do that, that's no big deal. Just do a glute bridge instead. So all in a glute bridge that is basically that initial first left lift. So you're gonna draw those hips, those feet into the floor, tuck and drive up. And you have to maintain that tuck front. I don't want you using your back to do it, okay? So maintain that tuck as you do it. Bang out of breath and then come down again. So that's your regression to the, the glute bridge walkout. 
from there, you're onto a bat wing. So the bat wing's for your back, okay? So if you're on those arms, that's 45 degrees, okay? Those toes are pulled up, legs are straight, and then you're gonna draw those elbows into the floor and bring yourself up. Squeeze your shoulders together back, and then come down again, okay? So ensure your head is coming at the same time as your body, so it's all in line, okay? Right. Once you've done that, we need to mount climb the ISO for the abs. So it's an ISO, it's not a mounting climb, it's an ab exercise. So you're in a push up position. You've got your bum, you've got your head and your shoulders all in line, and you're reaching long, okay? And you're bringing one knee up, get toe pulled up as well, and you're going to bang out a breath there. And then return it, then, then the other side. So you're going to bang out a breath at the top. You're not going to move your hips, so your low back's not going to move. So come, do, do a pause, so when your hips can work. So bring your knee right up onto the top. See that, how Sam's lit, how, how she lost her position of her back there. We don't want to see that, okay? That back needs to remain in position all the way around, okay? Are we happy with that? I think we're happy with that. We're going to go for it, okay? So, here we go, guys. We have got the hamstring walkout first. We're going for six reps on this. So we need six reps on the hamstring walkout, or glute bridge walkout, as we're we'll calling it today. <laughs> Floor back wings. And then mount for 10 reps, then mountain climb up ISO for six reps each side. Let's do this. How many times do we walk out five? Six times. Oh, sorry. Sit, sit listening. Warm, not listening to the man. So bridge, keep a tuck on, walk out as far as you can do that while maintaining that tuck and come back in again, okay? We'll shoot for six reps, okay? Keep those toes pulled up throughout, maintain that tuck. So you should be your hamstrings, not your lower back. You're going to work hard here, maintain that tuck and drive those heels into that floor as you do it. Do those hamstrings? So six times. Once you've done that, that's six. Time to get the sweat on up in here, so you get the sweat on. That's six, isn't it? Probably. Yeah, that's probably six. Okay. Now they're back wings. So now those feet are straight, those toes are pulled up, those arms are 45 degrees, and she pulls herself off, pushes herself off the floor, squeeze the shoulders together. And then back down again, okay? She have 10 reps here, guys, 10 reps. Squeeze, good. Throw squeeze. Should we get like a nice little burning sensation between your shoulder blades? 10 each side. This song's crap, I'm gonna show you this song. Yeah. 10 each side, guys. That's it. Now the mountain climb the ISO. So push up position. Three points of contact. Bum, head, shoulders. Knees and toes. <laughs> Bring a knee up, toe up, exhale at the top, okay? We don't want that back to move. Sam did a good job there. Bring a knee as high as it'll go up without moving her lower back. So from there, reach long, bang, exhale. So exhale more, Sam. That's it. Six each side. You wouldn't believe how much you feel your abs if you're doing it properly, okay? Feel your abs. Can't talk to you right now. Oh, there goes my phone. So stick to your side, guys, stick to your side. So that makes 12 in total, right? Yeah, 12 in total. Good, have a breather. Get some water. Oh. I'm seeking love in this. So. One set, we've got two more to go. So glute bridge walkouts, all the glute bridges, whatever you're doing. Six reps, so six reps on the glute bridge walkout, 10 reps we're shooting for on the glute bridge, okay? We're gonna maintain that tuck throughout, we're gonna pull those toes up throughout, draw those heels firmly into the floor. Don't go too far out here. If you can't control that pelvis, you okay? Rework your toes. Pull it as well and not just don't let them go to the side here. They have, might have a tendency to rotate out to the side here. Just try and keep it up and pull it for out, okay? You watch that? Carry? Yep. Okay, six, good. Back wings, legs straight, toes pulled up, arms are 45 degrees. Let's go. Squeeze. 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 Nice. Nice, Sam. Yeah, burning. Yeah. 
Spotify Chris today. Yeah. 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 So six, ten, remember ten guys, ten. Reek it in his arms, squeeze his fists, throw his elbows into the floor, squeeze his shoulders together. Also ensure when you're doing it, that rib catch is going up. You're on this. Yeah? You're on this. See how rib catch is still down? It's not here. It's rib catch down, squeeze, okay? We want those abs working all the way throughout. Keep working now. Mountain climb, I say. So push position, reach long. Exhale. Make sure when you bring that knee up, that knee's in line with your body. It's not up here. It's in line with the body. Okay, straight up, toes up throughout. Give me a big exhale. Keep reaching on throughout. Bang out breath. Ooh, so that breath now, that was definitely 30 curry last night. Good thing it's saying, not saying else, eh? <laughs> 60 size, that's 12, right? 12, yeah. I'm only joking, I can't do maths. Good. That's two sets. Last set. Best set. Last set, best set. Last set, best set. Right. Have a bit of water. We've got one more to go. You're sorry? How long is the rest for? 30 seconds to a minute. Depends how hard I want to work here. Yeah? Not hard enough, obviously. <laughs> okay, here we go. Last set, best set, guys. Right, what we're doing now is that, remember that blue bridge walkout. So you can have his feet, pat, feet shoulders apart, pull his toes up, so you bridge yourself up. You're going to maintain that tuck. I don't want that hips coming too high, then you use your lower back to hold you, okay? Really important, don't do that. If you do that, tuck your down. <laughs> Six reps, guys. Get your tuck on, draw the heels into the floor. Those hamstrings should be burning. They should be burning. Really work hard, keep your toes up, keep that flex, that keep that flexion for your lower back. You alright? I'm getting a solid dream over here. That's six reps. Back wings, let's go. So pull those toes up, legs straight, arms up 45 degrees, squeeze your fists, squeeze your shoulders together. Remember, get a rib cage down, we don't want this. Don't want this. We want that rib cage down. All the way throughout when those abs working, okay? Or what little abs I have left after this, after this quarantine session, I'm telling you. Whew. Keep squeezing together, squeeze your legs, that's it. Sam's doing a great job there of keeping their head in line with the body. A chin up, tucking forward. It's not up like this, Sandra. It's down, it's in line. Remember, squeeze your legs. They should be burning between the shoulder blades now. We on 10 yet? You're on 10, good, here we go. Final exercise, the mountain climber ISO. So push up position, three points of contact, boom, head, shoulders all in line, throw a knee up, get toe up, exhale. So reach long, exhale. 60 side guys, it's feeling strong here. I know you're feeling, I know you're feeling tired now, but concentrate. Keep reaching, exhale. Good sound. So I'm doing a good, okay, a good job to keep that knee in line with the body. Keep reaching through, 60 side guys, 60 side. So we're doing 12, right? How many is that? Jen, Sam's done. You're done, well done. I will clap louder, but I've got to see the baby as you well know upstairs, okay? <laughs> so remember guys, what's what's now what we're gonna do now, remember we're gonna have a crocodile breathe, we're not, not just gonna jump up and go and make it to a tear. We'll have Sam where you can do your 10 crocodile breathing, crocodile breaths first, as Sam is so well, well demonstrating right now. So Sam is a crocodile breaths. Let me remind you once again. Real week. <laughs> 1 p.m. Every day, except for Sundays. But remember, Saturday is a big day, more important than any other day, because it's our charity team training day for Cynthia Spencer, okay? So more details will follow that. But we are advertising it now. Hopefully you can join us at 1 p.m. on Saturday for it and raise some money for obviously a very, very good cause. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Remember, back tomorrow, 1 p.m. tomorrow, we're doing a conditioning set tomorrow. And please, let's get outside. Bring back that weather. Come on. I hope you have a great day, guys. Bye, guys.